That's good. We about to dig the holes for the posts that are gonna go in the ground for the uh, solar panels. This is my buddy, John. He does this on the side. He's a little bit of a, he can do a little bit of everything. See the cabin over there in the background. That's how far the solar panels will be from the cabin. And hopefully where John's truck is, I'm gonna plant some shrubs. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Doesn't spin very fast, but it digs quick. It's straight. It's straight. Makes it look easy. Man, it didn't even have to break a sweat. That was too easy, John. Yeah. So now we're gonna build, dig the second hole. It'll go down nice and easy too. I don't know if y'all can see any of that because of the sun. It's good. No, that's good. That's deeper than the other. Yep, no, that's quite high enough. You gotta, now you gotta hook it on that thing right there. Yeah, all right, yep. But push your, push your, push your, you see your bolt? Your bolt's gotta be pushed out. I think so, right here. I think so, but is it pushed all the way through? Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's just aggravating this hill. That's all, that's all it is, aggravating this hill. If I see half inch shorter, it could be missed, you know? Yeah, you'll get it on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And it can't be too high. You got to keep it down. There you go. Yeah. That hippie? Yeah, it's scary. I ain't going to do nothing to hurt you now. I ain't going to, I mean, I may move it a little bit, but I ain't going to do nothing to hurt you. I'm going to I can do it. Yeah, I think you made some progress right there now. Got a little slack in it. Make sure your bolt stays pushed in. It is. All right, you ready? Yeah. Now keep your cable pulled down now. You got to keep your cable pulled. There you go. There you go, just like that. Don't get your fingers in there. Keep your cable pulled down. Reach up and grab Yep, keep it pulled down best you can. I'm not going to do nothing to hurt you. You may feel it coming up a little bit, but I ain't going to let it get you. Pull down on your cape. I know. It's going to happen. All right, just stay where you're at. What's the cable do? Go, I got to. I got to keep it below that boat. You see that? You see that boat up top? That one. It can't go above that. So you got it hooked right now, but it can't go above that boat. There you go. Yep, I got you. You about to fall? Yes, you kind of ride it around. I think you can get out. I think it's time to get out. And we'll try it. If it don't work, we we'll have to do it again. Now, see, I'm videoing and operating. You see, I'm doing both of them. Now we picked up the pole. Well, I couldn't film much while we were dropping the poles cutting them with the chainsaw, but got them in there, now we just gotta get them straight, get them level, 
We're gonna put some quick creed in there. There's one of the frames for the panels. One frame per pole. Put a little concrete around the bottom of each pole. Get them good and level, we'll be good to go. This whole operation right here, I got a trade with John. I don't know what we're gonna trade for, but we're gonna trade bags of Quick Creek that cost me about $4 a piece. Got six of them. So, so far I'm in it for $24. Holes were salvaged. These bags weigh 60 pounds a piece. I used to buy the 80 pound bags, but I no longer feel the need to impress anybody with picking up 80 pound bags of concrete. One, we're gonna put three bags at each hole, put a bunch of dirt in there, tamp it down really tight, get it really tight in there, and then let it set overnight. I'll probably pour some, get some buckets of water and put in there too to help it dry up. So you can let all that dust get out of there. That can't be good to breathe. It sure doesn't taste good in your mouth and on your tongue. This is just a big old steel pry bar. The end of it's pointed like that, but this end is flat. So we take it and beat it on the concrete. We just try to push that concrete down as much as we can. Now, if I was doing a job to perfection, I would have checked it with the level after each bag of concrete. I'm not. See, I'm not trying to get perfection here. So I just screw this two by four in with the mound of dirt there. I can move it backwards and forwards or left or right. It'll hold it where I want it to hold it. What I will do, still pretty good. Still pretty good both ways, looks good. So now we're gonna put a little dirt on top of that concrete. Make sure we've got it tamped in really good. This thing right here weighs 25 pounds, 20, I don't know, 10, 15, something that's heavy. And then we'll tamp it some more. These are called dog fennels. And I hate them. But I can't get rid of them. If you know a secret to getting rid of dog fennel, let me know. I wanted to show you this. That is an oyster shell inside of the pile in now. This pile, and I told y'all, it was a salvage from a marina out of Pensacola, Florida. Clearly this part was underwater. And the oysters were living in there, probably having a really nice life before the salvage crew came and pulled them up. Pretty neat, I'm gonna leave them there. I mean, they're dead now, it's just shells, but I'm gonna leave them there. All right, this is probably gonna be the last video of the day because I'm about to run out of time. There's the this is the top plate it'll get mounted up here i'll cut this post all flush and it'll get mounted up here like this and bolted in from the tops and the sides there's the frame it'll go right here they'll both go side by side they have to face due south and so there's the cabin due south is right there to those uh, those are poplar trees with the white bark that's due south right there. So they're gonna face straight that way. And we're about mm, 50, 60 yards from the cabin right here. So I'm gonna try to cover them up with shrubs down low. Just let the sun do its thing from up top. 
hopefully tomorrow I will get all of the this one mounted and I'll show it to you, okay? All right, y'all have a great day. Be sure to follow us on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram on Shepherding Outdoors. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank y'all, love y'all, have a great day. Oh, and be sure to tell me if you know how to get rid of dog fennel. Thanks, bye.